I usually don't do themed videos on this channel, but since today is Valentine's Day of 2024, and I randomly had the idea to talk about a visual novel that surprisingly does not have a video review on YouTube. More specifically, I want to talk about one of my favorite visual novel heroines I consider very underrated. I am a Himekami from Tsukisuki, or if you love me, then say so, as localized by Manga Gamer, and originally developed by Chewable Soft. People tend to know me for liking weird girls or childhood friends, but an easy number three favorite archetype of mine is the dede dede girl or wholesome and affectionate type of girl, and I am a fits that to a T. When you first meet her at the beginning of the common route, she reminds me a lot of Sumigi from Kaon, a very rich girl who's very much interested in the commoner's world, but more specifically, fast food. The whole rich girl being interested in commoner stuff is somewhat common in weave media, but I think Aimei is basically the best at showing this, showing how genuinely excited she is in a wholesome way, while also providing some funny comedy around this stuff. Speaking of comedy though, you may have noticed that in the thumbnail of this video, I noted that the actual visual novel, if you'll even say so, is terrible. One of the main reasons for that is that I think the developer ChewableSoft has some of the worst humor I've seen in visual novels. I've criticized Yuzusoft for some of their humor before, but at least they can be funny sometimes. However, the vast majority of the heroines in the two Chewable Soft visual novels I read, Farther Than the Blue Sky and Suki Suki, or If You Love Me Then Say So, have heroines that are just straight up mean to the protagonist for no reason, constantly in the common route. It makes the visual novels, quite frankly, a chore to read at best and anger inducing at worst. Ayame is literally the only goddess from heaven from either of these visual novels, and that not only she is likable, but also one of the most Nice, funny, and wholesome visual novel heroines I've seen in a moige or lighthearted slice of life visual novel. When the other characters are having a lot of their malicious humor that they try to show off as teasing, Hayame is the only character that is consistently wholesomely nice to both the main character and basically the whole cast. Naturally, when you start dating Ayame in her route, the wholesome interactions continue there with a lot of great interactions. Not only do you find out she's big on fast food, but she's actually a gamer girl, which is always a plus. Sadly, the other reason Suki Suki is a terrible visual novel is that for some reason they made most of the routes utsuge or incredibly depressing. Ayame's route is notorious for being one of the worst of these routes in this visual novel, giving Ayame an incredibly depressing ending for basically no reason. If there were far better foreshadowing for this in this visual novel, secretly being an utsuge and not a moige, this would have stung a lot less. But sadly, what we have now is literally only have is literally the only flaw I have with Ayame, and that Utsuge twist has nothing to do with Ayame's character or personality at all, because I think she's still consistently great personality-wise th throughout the visual novel. It's a shame she's stuck being written by Chubalsoft, with them apparently not being good with comedy, but also not being good at foreshadowing and justifying depressing Utsuge endings for their heroines. Thankfully, in both endings, yes, every heroine has two endings, Ayame, as said earlier, has her personality more than shine through. I did mention she's a very wholesome and dirty dirty character. One one thing I appreciate about her that is she's not only not the typical boring dirty dirty where her personality literally only revolves around loving the protagonist, but she obviously likes him. She clearly has her own wants, desires, and interests, and is even willing to have proper, reasonable disagreements with the main character making her have an actual backbone. I wish this were a trait done more with wholesome characters like her, because even the nicest people in this world have their own wants, it's nice to see it done pretty well, at least in this regard. But anyway, that's the video. Ayame and Suki Suki in general tend to not be talked about, which is unfortunate, because I think Ayame should be the poster girl of how to do dede dede girls, being very sweet and funny, but also having an actual personality and backbone. If I'm not looking for the next good weird girl or childhood friend, I'm always looking for another visual novel heroine that has a personality that's at least kinda similar to Ayame.